Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with a match here in Achilles Zaku. This is actually going to be my first match I played using this suit. We are 350 on Mass Driver Facility, so this is the um, level 2 variant of Achilles Zaku, and it has been a very nice raid to play. It is 300 to 350, 300 being its native cost, and it was available through the ranked matches that happened recently. It was originally a clan suit, so it is nice to see this be one of the suits that finally makes a comeback and be a bit more available to those who didn't have it before, because this is a very nice suit to play. Again, it is a raid. You have the MMP-80 machine gun with grenade launcher as your main primary weapon, and that is a very nice machine gun. Personally, I think it's one of the best machine guns in the game when it costs um, when it comes to the lower cost suits so very nice there you have the goofs heat sword as your main melee weapon and if you know me i really like the heat sword it does a lot of damage on this suit so very nice to have there you also have the heat lance from the afrit doug schneid as a sub weapon so you have two melees with this suit and the Heat Lance here is a very useful weapon. You can... it only swings once, unlike the, um, the Doug Schneider Fleet, so it's a lot closer, I'd say, in comparison to... Well, I really can't say, like, it's like the, um, which one am I thinking? The Tykes Mobility Experimental Dom, or the High Speed Dom, I think is that what, that's what version is called. Because I don't think the High Speed Dom uses the same melee combo as the um, Doug Schneid, if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a while since I've played the High Speed, so I'm not entirely sure if they have the same melee pattern or not, but uh, moving on from that, you do have a Sturmfrost as a sub-weapon. Uh, you know, the Sturmfrost, it takes some time to ready up. Basically a one-shot pocket rocket and yep, does some decent damage and gets you a stun. You also have the grenade launcher that's attached to your machine gun and it doesn't do as much damage as the storm Foss, but readies up quicker and still gives you that instant stun. And that is everything for your weapons there and yeah again just a very nice suit from what I played with it. You'll see a few times here that there's just moments I'm able to do some hefty chunks of damage to the enemy, especially to supports, again, that over 4,000 I did to a um, missile launcher gym sniper custom. And the same deal goes with the heat lance, where if you hit the downswing and you get both swings off, yeah, you're going to be taking some massive chunks out of people's health, so that is kind of countered by the fact that this suit does have lower defenses, especially your beam defense is quite low on this suit. On the level 2, you can get it to the same as the, um, the ballistic and melee defense, depending on what your build is. That's what I use for this suit, just try to beef up those beam defenses a bit, because 350, you do have a few suits that do use beam weapons, so definitely something that you might want to have in this instance here. Aside from that, some other interesting facts is that this is actually a spacesuit as well, so it's actually the only suit that we see that can use both the heat sword and technically the heat lance in space, which is very interesting. I haven't gotten a space match with it yet, I really want to one day. But interestingly enough, or not really interestingly, but I tried it in free practice and I don't know, I find the Heat Lance a bit hard to hit and that's in free practice against like targets that aren't even moving so I don't know if it's just, because I think it shares the same combo so it's definitely interesting with that. It's something like I'm probably going to have to experiment with to kind of figure out the best ways to go about that if I do ever get a space match with this thing because uh, space matches are just very hard to come by these days. Either people only play them just to get like dailies done and even in that case most people probably just go to an AB room to do it so if I ever find a probably up my best chance would probably be a 350 cost space room because I, I well 300 does also appear a few times so uh, again hopefully it's just the case of hopefully one day 
I'm able to get a space match because, again, I really want to try this in space and just kind of see how its melee weapons would really kind of hold up in that kind of scenario. The Heat Sword I'm not really that concerned about because, well, it's the Heat Sword, and as you can see there um, with the Lance, yeah, do very decent damage. Oh, I should also mention that the Heat Lance also has a 2.5 second cooldown, same as pretty much most melee weapons, so it is very easy to swap into that weapon and really get the full combo off. Typically what I like to do for my combos is maybe Heat Sword, the Heat Lance, and Heat Sword. You can also start with the Heat Lance, but I usually just prefer the Sword because uh, it's it, like in my swaps, it's just much quicker for me to get to, and I feel like it's almost like a more guaranteed hit, almost, just with, you know, it's one downswing. You can kind of get that guaranteed hit in and not have to worry, but in most cases, you should be able to get three melee swings off if you have enough thrust to boost around, and if no one interrupts your um, combo, so yeah, it should be good. Yeah, that's why I kind of nicknamed it, the Killy Combo, so might see a short on that one day if I can find a scene where I use that particular combo, but yeah, the Killy Zaku, again, very nice suit. If it is one that you did get from the ranked matches, it, I would definitely recommend at least giving it a try, and hopefully this is something that also ends up in, like, the cycle ticket store at some point, because I do think this is, again, just a really good suit. Like, even, like, some decent damage to other classes, if you can really, again, get those combos off. So, very nice suit overall. And we're nearing the last minute of this match here. Uh, we're pretty much in the lead by a little over 3,000 points. And as you can see there, trying to get that damage off, unfortunately going to get countered by that Zaku Flipper, and looks like they're going to finish me off with their downswing there. Luckily, we have some pretty good points, so we should be able to win this match here. And there is somebody going in that looks like they may have been... Oh, that's our gym raid. And spawn back in here. Looks like I'm going to try to call a support fire real quick, because oh, my suit's had a few more seconds on it, but... Hopefully, I can try to get a tad bit of damage in. I don't know if that support fire actually hits or not, but trying to hurry up and get to my suit, see if I can do anything to help. Though we are nearing the last 10 seconds, so I doubt I'm really going to be able to do too much before the timer ends. Uh, enemies are calling support fire. There is the flipper, going to aim for them, hit him with the downswing. Did end up getting a pilot though, and unfortunately couldn't finish off the flipper in time with their last bit of health, but time out, mission over, good work's going all around, even a glory be with you in there. And let's see how we did this match here with Killy's Zaku, and top in damage dealt, yeah, almost 10, or not even 10, like 100,000, very nice there. Third place with 5 kills and 2 losses, it's actually a rated match by the way. And yeah, that's going to do it for this match here in Killy's Zaku. Again, a very nice suit. Uh, but just, also just a refreshing suit as well, just because, you know, the lower cost really doesn't get anything anymore. So, it's, again, it's just one of those cases, like, it's just nice to finally have another low cost suit to play for once instead of just uh, the usual 300, 350 meta that goes around. Uh, just low cost really needs some new suits in general, and if the leaks that I saw are true, I mean, that hopefully means we're going to get the Boogoo from Origin at some point, so hopefully, like, like they're not just um, limited or, like, clan or ranked match suits. Hopefully there is some, like, regular releases, like, just in the RT store or DP store, I think it would just be a nice place to throw in some of these suits, like if they're new or not, just to, again, switch up the low-cost meta, because low-cost at this point feels just kind of stale, but that's going to do it for this video here. Comment down below what you think about Achilles Zaku. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.